Um, For sure. So I, I was uh, actually texting with a, a friend of mine who is a big Michigan fan. His name's Corey. Shout out to you, Corey. But um, we kind of were talking about Jim Harbaugh, kind of the offense looking a little different, um, you, you know, the, the culture being different. You know, we, and some, some things were made of his, you know, his weight that he mentioned, that, hey, I'm down back to my playing weight, which, you know, hey, be, be as healthy as you can, comfortable. I'm not into, you know, body shaming, anything like that. But, um, you know, it, it, and even, honestly, even he's dressing a little different too. Like, is, I think he's, he's different. Um, because I'll, I'll even go back to the, the big 10 media days and, you know, he just, it, it was very just straightforward. It was, you know, there wasn't a lot of the, I, I, I'd like to call it just goofiness. Like there just wasn't a lot of goofiness. Like he was, you know, he came in like, like I'm a coach on a mission, you know, really straightforward. And, and, you know, the players that were there as well, talked a lot about culture you know, just, they said the right things, you know, and then now you look at today of being three, and know, you know, how they come out and play with just their energy, you know, regardless of who they're playing, um, you know, he, he looks different to me um, just overall. Like I, I really like what I'm seeing from, you know, from Jim Harbaugh and, and he looks like he's focused. He looks like he's diff- just in a different mental state to me. I could be, you know, uh, uh, looking too much into it, but that's my kind of thought on it. Um, what what say you? I'm not the guy that typically looks for things like that, but mm-hmm. I've noticed the same thing. I've had other people comment that to me as well. And I think if if, an, if enough of us have seen that, I think there's there's something to it. Uh, I've thought the next step in terms of the thought process of, okay, why did he intentionally think that he needed to, and he's not rebranded himself, but just give off a different vibe, different attitude. If that was needed, if, if uh, that he intentionally did that or whether maybe just this is the byproduct of him being challenged with his job, his job security, having to sign a new contract that was reduced, cut in half in pay. And maybe this is just the byproduct of him saying, uh, I'm just going to go for broke and my job's on the line. But actually it's kind of possibly freed him to just be different in a sense and and not feel as as much pressure and go out and say we're going to lay it on the line and get the job done or I'm going to go down swinging and uh and this is what it's going to be sometimes when people are pushed to the to the edge pushed against the wall uh instead of feeling more pressure they think okay well I got nothing to lose so I might as well just um uh, kind of lay it out on the line yeah, just just give it, just give my all. I'm just gonna focus on just coaching and and do you know, instead of focusing on kind of that result of you know we're gonna be undefeated and all that. Like let's just focus on you know coaching the right way, doing the right thing, saying the right yeah. thing. So it's it's worked out so far. I'm I've been um, I've been surprised, pleasantly surprised with just how he's been you know just kind of operating and it it. It's it's good. It's a welcomed it's a welcome difference. I, I just think I think a lot of stuff with the you know the climbing trees and you know I'm doing sleepovers at recruits' houses like that stuff. It like it's fine if you're winning, but when you don't win and and you don't hit, especially for yourself as the the head coach of Michigan, like when you're not beating Ohio State, you're not winning Big Ten championships like that. To me, paints a target on not only yourself but also your team too because you know, people are talking about, you know, how he's operating and, you know, and and it's just, and I don't think any, there's not a single coach that is out there that wants to put more pressure, you know, unnecessary pressure on the team. Like they, you know, if anything, you want to reflect, you know, pressure from them. So I I think for me personally, I I like the fact that he's been operating a, a little different and, um, you know, from what I can see, it's, it's had some, some impact. I mean, maybe, maybe it hasn't, but it's just, it just seems that way. But, um, you know, I, I think it's, uh, I think it's been a good, a good shift, a good change or tweak, whatever it's, I, whatever, I don't know if he calls it anything, but 
Um, I know that in listening to a lot of his explanations of how the staff is different, how the individual members of the coaching staff, the new members of the coaching staff, what they've contributed, how it's looked different even before they played a game. He was able to, you know, and I had this response a few times. I was able to sit through, whether it was at Big Ten Media Days or a couple other times after that, sit through a Jim Harbaugh news conference and think, I made it through that news conference, and at no time did I cringe for him or think <laughs> you know, should have said that or that that didn't make any sense or that's kind of a strange analogy that didn't work or any of that. Um, and also where he got out of coach speak and was able to actually beyond just saying you know these coaches are working well together and they bring a new attitude and, and he was able to actually explain beyond that real things that had some substance to why he was optimistic. You know, he talked about that, for example, Mike McDonald, when he was with the Ravens was able to see things with personnel in the NFL and move guys to positions where they were more effective. And he had a real eye for seeing talent and seeing strengths and weaknesses out of players and mixing and matching and he saw that, you know, being a huge benefit to what they wanted to do at Michigan. Um, him just talking about how um, in the coaching meetings that they were able to be very open with each other very quickly where, you know, they, they had enough um, chemistry and got along to the point where they, they just laid it all out there. Nobody got offended. They could respectfully disagree and really make some progress because nobody held back. Um, there were a lot of things he explained like that that I thought, okay, well, that's that's more than just your standard coach speak answer where he's really given us a meaningful description of what's going on uh, that backs up why he feels good about the situation. Yeah, it's – and that, I think sometimes, too, when you're – when you're in a spot like Jim Harbaugh was before the season started, like it's a bit of a tough spot, you know, and it, it sometimes the coach speak doesn't do it, you know, all the time. And, and sometimes you need to have a little more transparency. Like you don't have to get into, you know, all of the minutia of everything that you, that you guys talked about. But I think sometimes that is refreshing when a coach is rel pretty honest with you about something. And it's not just, you know, the normal canned answers, like, you know, we, you know, go through our meetings. We do the, you know, normal stuff like to, to be like, yeah, well we did that, but you know, we still were open with each other and you know, we disagreed and everything was fine. No one took it personal. Like we understand the goal is to, you know, win games. So that's what we're, you know, that's what we're focusing on. So that is pretty, um, it's, it's interesting. Like I said, I, I think he's, he's been a little, you know, different and I, I think it's, it's, I don't think it's gone unnoticed. Um, so that is um, interesting. 